What's going on guys? Thanks for watching. Keep calm and game on. In this episode, I am trying out a game called Ziggurat 2. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know that the first game I was a big fan of. Like, I have a lot of Let's Play episodes of Ziggurat 1. But the second one came out out of the blue, out of nowhere. I've been like pestering this developer for the longest time to like make another one. They're like, oh, we'll see, we'll see. And then a couple days ago, I like looked on my newsfeed and I saw that they actually did it. It is still in early access, so it's still being in development. There's going to be glitches. There's going to be bugs, you know. There's going to be kinks they are going to work out. But it's here, guys. Ziggurat 2 or Ziggurat. I always say Ziggurat. It's actually Ziggurat, I guess. But Ziggurat 2 is here. So we're just going to jump in. And uh, we're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with the Apprentice. Sure. And like I said, still in early access. First time playing this. Again, I have played the first one quite a bit but from some of the gameplay I've seen of this one it's a little bit different so we'll see what happens I always like the art style of the uh, of the little cutscenes for centuries something 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 their bravery and power were unmatched I, I suppose they're talking about wizards so this is episode one in our hopefully long-running let's play series of ziggurat in order to join the order, applicants had to survive the Ziggurat. A gigantic prison for creatures too strong to be destroyed. I'm excited, guys. I am hyped. As always, if you enjoy this video and want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Over the last year, some wizards performed forbidden experiments. All the more traditional ones swore to protect the purity of sorcery. I know I'm missing some like key plot points here, but um, the Archmage saw himself forced to stop the experiments, expelling the heretics by force. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, baby. Also, let me know if you want to see me live stream this game, because that'll be fun, too. This incident was followed by many others until a civil war, I think, took place. The whole con continent trembled when the two sides battled. Nice. The heretics close to their defeat casted a full fulminating spell reacting with the concentrated magic in the area. Its power grew beyond control. Oh man. The strength of the spell was so powerful that it caused a breach in the ziggurat defenses. Creatures locked down and fled toward the mainland. Most wizards lost their life or their sanity. Only a few managed to survive. I'm interested if I'm going to be able to pick different characters. Among them, Argo and Karana. Two more apprentices. Corina? It might be Karina. With the evil creatures free around the whole land, it's necessary to find other wizards willing to help. And maybe with their aid, start rebuilding the ziggurat. Interesting. Very interesting. Tutorial. Single floor. We're still a week after the downfall. Nothing better than a small warm-up in the practice dungeon before exiting to the Citadel. Alright, let's do it, baby. Let's go. Practice run here. We come. Again, guys, this is Ziggurat 2. I'm stoked. I'm excited. I bought this game. I bought the first game twice on my PC and my Xbox One. Full price because I just wanted it on two consoles because that's how much I liked it. So, uh... Let's see what happens here. Use space to jump higher. To reach higher floors. Okay. Um, if you move forward while jumping toward a ledge, you'll automatically climb it. Nice. You can use E to dash to move quickly for a brief moment. Try jumping toward and then dashing to get to the other side. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if... I think... That ability might have been in the first one. I could be wrong. Sprint. You can move fast by using the sprint. You can shoot while sprinting and you can only... Wait, wait. You can't shoot while sprinting and can only move forward. Okay, so you can't sprint side to side. You can only move forward. Makes sense. Alright. Use your wand to defeat all enemies. Main fire is the left button. Alternate fire is the right button. Firing requires mana, but wands regenerate quickly. Okay. Let's do it. Defeat all the enemies. 
Probably gonna have to adjust the field of view. And maybe my mouse sensitivity, because it's a little low to start. We got some zombie carrots. Some zombie carrots, I remember them from the first game. Shout out to those zombie carrots, man. Defeat all enemies. Okay, we got this, we got this. Are they just like, stuck in there? That's easy. Are they literally just stuck in there? I don't know if they were supposed to spawn in that. Well, maybe they were, I don't know. Can I break these? Yes, I can, all right, what's it say? All heroes have unique skills. Apprentice can attract pickups in a long radius. Use your R skill to pick up items that the enemies have dropped. Skills take a while to recharge. Ooh. That's a new, that's a new thing. Before you had to like, like they didn't, I mean, you could get abilities that would help the, the crystals like attract to you, but it was kind of like a passive ability. No, it was actually an active ability. But this seems like you actually have to uh, hit that button to get some stuff that's further away. I like that feature. Because again, that wasn't in the first game as far as I'm aware. Map, the room splits the path. You can open the tab map to know your way. Okay, tab. Ah, oh, nice little map. Nice. I'm assuming this is probably a boss room. Guardian door. Find the guardian seal in order to break this lock. Okay. The chest holds powerful rewards. F, open it and see what's inside. With this chest? Wait. Apprentice. Oh, I see. So this is what I look like. Apprentice, passive abilities, it tells me my abilities, nice, I like that. I can just open that whenever. So I gotta find the chest it's talking about, here we go. Open chest. Oh buddy, I have Twilight. I was a big fan of the weapons in the first game. There's just so many cool different guns, like different wands and stuff. Now you have more weapons, you can switch between them with the mouse wheel. The way more powerful than you want, but they don't regenerate their mana. Enemies defeated will drop mana from time to time, so make sure to pick it up when they do. Okay. Let's do it. Here we go, here we go. These guys look a little different. I like that the art style is similar to the first, but different. And I don't know if that'll be tweaked over time, because again, this game is in early access. But, uh... I can choose a perk, sweet. Haste, increase the movement speed, or meditation, slightly increase the size of your mana pools. I'm gonna go with increase the size of my mana pools. So now I can hold more uh, energy for my wands. Level up. When you picked enough knowledge crystals, you'll level up recovering part of your health and mana and earning a new perk. Open the F upgrade screen to select which perk you can get. I already did that. Um, guardian seal. This is the seal. No, this is the seal that will allow you to open the guardian door and fight him. Once you pick it up, you can go back to the room where your door was. Okay, sweet. So this is the guardian seal. Basically the boss key in order to fight the boss. But so uh, let's head back that direction. I'm also liking the music. I was always a big fan of this art style. I mean, I just li I just like the way this game looks. Unlock the door. Okay. Let's see if they bring back some of the old bosses from the first game or if they're completely new. Defeat the Guardian. Okay. He's got like some little minions here. The Nameless Goblin. This guy doesn't seem too hard. Okay, maybe. Maybe he is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. He's got a shield up. Oh, cool. It's got an alternate weapon. Nice. An alternate attack. I thought this guy was going to be easy, but... It seems like it's a little bit more difficult than I thought. Okay, I got to think. I think I got to take out his minions, because he's, like, taking energy from them. Did I get him? Okay. That wasn't super, super hard. And then I can walk on this. Interact. I like the fact that you can kind of see, like, a third-person perspective of what your character look like, looks like.
That's kind of cool. Because before you just kind of had like a thumbnail of what your character looked like, but you never got to like see the full, the full model. So that's nice. Browse the available quests. So wait, there's quests. Map room. Oh, this is new. Burning Pyramid, a circle of sorcerers have taken control of the local town and are performing sacrifices to increase their power. The villagers have asked us to help to get rid of them. Side quest. This is interesting. So that's like a... I'm going to that. Oh, you got different blunder busts? Aw, oh, man. You got different weapons? So yeah, I'll stick with him. Soul Wand. Falcon. I'm not sure what all these do. Coin drop rate. Start quest. Because before you didn't really have quests. You just kind of like jumped into the ziggurat. And you basically had to try to get to the end. Now there's quests. That's interesting. So. That's, that's really interesting. I like that. I wonder if like the quests are like randomly generated. I'm liking this. We got a blunderbuss, baby. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, a lot of times it'll start you off with like a starting weapon. Maybe with the quests one, it just kind of starts you with whatever you selected. Because I had some different options before I jumped into this, this quest. So maybe it doesn't drop new weapons. We'll find out. The levels seem a little more maze-like. Defeat all the enemies. Okay. He's a kick. Never seen that enemy before. So I like the fact that they just didn't, like, recycle models from the first game. I mean, it looks like they, they rebuilt everything from the ground up. And again, maybe... maybe the models will look more similar to like the first game after a while because this is still in early access so maybe like some of these are just placeholders and they're not fully polished but I like that it looks uh, looks different let's do it baby let's do it because I remember these guys from the first one but they, they look different Okay, so we got through there. That's slow on mana. So basically what this episode is going to be, we're just going to see how far we can get um, before dying, I believe. Or if we complete this mission, we might call that episode one. Defeat all the enemies. But definitely let me know if you want to see more of this game on the channel. Like I said, I just bought it. Got it on sale, so normally I think it's like 20 bucks. I think I got it for like... 17 with tax because it, it was on sale but uh i'm liking it so far i mean even if it was even if it was identical to the first game with just more levels and stuff i would have been fine with it but this looks like they actually added a lot of new content and uh and mechanics so so far i'm i'm liking it and it's still in early access so a lot more content is yet to come. Take them out, take them out, take them out. There we go. We choose a perk. Okay, what do we want? Rough skin, friendly fire, immunity, greater resistance to eliminated damage, elemental damage, or scholar additional experience from knowledge gems. I'm gonna go with rough skin. Because I remember in uh, the first game, you could actually kill yourself by accident with like splash damage from your own weapons. So I think this rough skin is a way to kind of negate that. I think we've been in here before, so let's take a right. I like these mummies, man. We got the boss key. Guardian seal acquired. Yeah, baby. Unlock door. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, do I got different abilities? What is... What is that? What did I just do? I didn't know, I didn't realize there were different abilities. They didn't say that in the uh, the tutorial. So I don't know what ability I just used there. Um, let me let me look. Dwarven blunderbuss, falcon wing, rough skin. 
Okay, what are, what am I? Passive locked, locked. Siphon instantly attract all items. Okay. Is that what I just used? Um, greater increase your speed and okay. Interesting, interesting. Cause oh yeah, that increases my speed. Okay, so that's like a little dash. And then what does R do? I think R is like, I don't know. I'll have to get used to the, to the, like, the, uh, abilities. Ooh. Chained chest. Before you can open this chest, you'll need to defeat several waves of enemies. Let's do it, baby. Bring them on, son. Oh, God. Oh, that's nice. Anybody else? Anybody else want a piece? I'll murder you. I will murder you. This guy's pretty powerful. Oh, God. Okay, so there's traps. Gotta watch where I'm stepping. Poison. I don't like poison. There we go. Is there fall damage? I wonder if there's fall damage. Maybe. Oh, Lord. Again, I don't know what that green ability just did. Did something. Just not sure what. Something down there? Yep. You dead. Hey, hey, watch it. Watch it. Where? Who's shooting me? Like, what? Little cobalt. Okay, it's it's getting a little bit harder. A little bit more difficult here. Oh lord. Oh god, okay. Forgot there were traps. They're actually pretty well hidden, at least that trap was. Again, I don't know what that button does. I'm just like spamming my different abilities. I should probably go and read what my abilities do. Hey, these guys. I remember those guys. The, the little floating skulls. Look uh, a little different from the first one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I like the music. Oh, man. Not doing too great here. I'm running low on everything. Where yet? Where yet? Where yet? Where is he? What the? Oh god! Got him. Got four enemies left. Is there a way to like see where the enemies are? I think I can just look around and I'll see, like, their outline behind, uh... Yeah, there's, there's one over there. I really like that feature, because I hate games that just, like, you, you don't know where the last enemy is, because, like, they might be stuck on a wall or something. This game, it just shows you an outline, tells you where the last person is. Um, choose a perk. Recover some mana at the start of each fight. A random mana pool will increase its capacity and lower mana usage. I'm gonna go with that. And also, I think... That chest should be open now. Give me something good, baby. Hellish Ember. Oh, man. New weapon unlocked, son. All right, what does this do? Nice fireballs, baby. Okay. So let's go this way. These, these rooms feel very different. In the first game, they were kind of just like a square. Some of them were a little different, but this this room feels like it feels like I'm I'm definitely like in a ziggurat or some like kind of temple or like pyramid. Like it feels it feels more like this could actually be a place that exists. You know what I'm saying? Dang! I do like the death animation though, with like the little. That's the pretty cool. Greyhorn Citadel. So it brings you back here. Playtime. 
Rooms cleared. Gives you a little breakdown. I def got defeated. Coins earned four. Okay. Interesting. Continue. And go back. Ooh, there's a laboratory. Manager heroes and upgrades weapons. Are so there's different heroes. So I got these two heroes. Nice. I really like that they're animated. I really like that. Because before it was just like a thumbnail in the first game. Now they're actually animated. Brings a lot of life to the characters, I think. I wonder if there's like different outfits you can get. I'm liking this game, guys. But there you go. That is just a brief look at uh, Ziggurat 2. I'm going to be playing a lot more on the channel. So hopefully you guys, you, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more. If you're new to the channel, just found me by accident or whatever. I know this game just came out, so there's a lot of people searching for it and whatnot. But if you are brand new, and if you've made it this far, hopefully you stick around and subscribe. Because I do love these these kind of uh, first-person shooter roguelike games. Big fan of them. I play a lot of them on the channel. But yeah, let me know what you thought of Ziggurat 2. And if you plan on getting it yourself, it's about 20 bucks on Steam. Early access, but still, as you can see, very playable. And in my opinion, fun. But yeah, that was my first uh, attempt, my first impression, and that was episode one of our hopefully long-running Let's Play series. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, stay safe out there, and remember, keep calm and game on. Toodles!